We, we got some problems, man, because we got to... Okay, so here's what we got. We got Artorius in Lost Izalith. That's fine. It might take a bit, but we can beat him. I apologize. A burp is working its way to the surface. Done. We also need to... We also need to kill the Four Kings, but we do not have the key to the seal yet. Am I miss? Oh, we got, dude, we haven't even gone to the freaking catacombs yet. Let's go down to the catacombs. Maybe we'll find the key to the seal down there. Hello. I'm not scared of you anymore, dude. I'm here to tell you, there is, I am not scared of you anymore. Well, you know, stamina running out notwithstanding. Look at that. Dude, that's, that's character development right there. Can I? No! Did you hear that? What the heck was that, man? How could she die, though? Lautre I've never even met Lautrec, dude. Black Eye Orb. Dead. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Do I so does that mean I have to go back to An Orlando um, and then use the Black Eye Orb to... Yes, okay, that's fine. I have no problem fighting Lautrec. He's, he's a buster, and 213 will regulate. I'm, I'm actually just gonna Homeward Bone. We can't sleep here anyway. Slurp. Scrub is a guy who thinks he's fly. You're not... You know what we need? Um... We need... To start repopularizing TLC songs that are not just No Scrubs. Like, Waterfalls is a pretty good song. And then Creep is actually, like, a classic, as far as I'm concerned. The f no Scrubs, look, No Scrubs is fine. Like, I wouldn't... I probably wouldn't change the station. I might change the station, to be honest. Just because, um... Help. When, when I was, uh, you know, a young man... The no Scrubs was was literally like the most played song uh, of the decade on Rick D's in the weekly top 40. Yes! Skewer! Skewer them! Piercing damage, true damage, true sight. I was driving the other day, listening to 90s radio as I've been wont to do from time to time. Waterfalls came on, and I was like, this song's actually pretty sick. I actually, I, I, I think TLC, and this is not a, a rare take for the record. Um, but I think TLC, when they came back in like 2000, they were worse. Like, Unpretty, I don't think it's a good song. It's, it's too much like Christina Aguilera's, like... You know, you are beautiful, no matter what they say. Like, I, I, I always, you need something with a little, little extra edge. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude, do it. It is a good message. Don't go chasing waterfalls. <laughs> Which TLC member is your favorite? Who's the, pre the preeminent rapper in, in TLC? Is that Chili? That's left eye, F. Hello. Oh, jeez. Okay, Loudtrek is actually one of the hardest bosses in this whole game. Trinkets and bobbles. I, you know what? I've never fought this guy with a weapon that has any range on it. Actually, he's kind of a, a buster as we've established. It's much easier to just kick him off the edge. Oh, 
Otherwise, dude, the S stock can get a little spicy. The guilty pay the price. Yeah, the guilty pay the price, buddy. You're freaking toasted. You're you're toasted. That was so easy. <laughs> Golf's great bow. How about that? <laughs> Will there ever be a return to Landlord Super? I would say strong bet. Strong bet. I actually, I was looking into that developer's uh, earlier game, Jalopy, which I, I understand I'm like the, I'm super late to the party, but it's like the same, I, I think it, development has been kind of abandoned due to like a publishing snafu, but it seems kind of cool, like you, you, it's a, maybe like a My Summer Car type game, you fix up a car and like drive around Europe and try not to die. It seems like a fun time. Jalopy's cool. I might give that a try at some point. You never know. Hey, here's your soul back. Yeah, yeah. Do you have an item for me? <laughs> you don't even you don't even give me a reward? Whoa! I never ever considered giving the soul back to this lady. Yo, you're crazy. Firelink is like one of the most important bonfires in the whole game. It gives you easy access to Sen's Fortress, Undead Parish, Upper Undeadburg, Lower Undeadburg. Uh, New Londo Ruins and the Catacombs, man. Like, it's... It's like the best possible bonfire. Now you've got the Bodhi sense of humor. Bro! Just at least let me level up first, otherwise I'm gonna lose the souls. Okay, fine. Let's, let's do it, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Bodied. It's a great weapon. Strength. Strength has a. I didn't. I did do it. Okay. I did get citizens arrested on on Jay's stream last night. Sorry, what are you talking about? You sorry fool! I went down there. Is it because I rolled down there? I can't remember. Anyway, whatever. Here we go. Um, I don't need that sucker anyway. That's that little sicko. I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, I was gonna say Jay is like... Honestly, he's like revolutionizing the platform every single month that I'm on Twitch. So if you're not familiar, Jay has uh, also known as twitch.tv slash wolves at my door. One of the... Oh, that's a good item. One of the, the funniest things I've ever seen is uh, he has like a little scanner that goes by. So if you redeem channel points, it'll do a scan of his face where like it takes a still image every couple of like vertical pixels and it goes really slowly so he can like... It'll start scanning like here, and then he'll go like, and then give himself like a super big forehead, and then he'll move his head up really quickly in a bit, and it'll give him like a really tiny face. It's great stuff. Um, and uh, now he's got one that's breaking news. And it, by the way, it, it happens like without his permission, basically. As soon as you do the channel points, it happens. Um, Breaking news freezes his webcam in whatever the frame was where it's redeemed and then makes his photo black and white and puts a little news ticker at the bottom that goes like breaking news and then it uses a, a Markov chain to come out with a uh, like a news headline but his are all like streamer focused so it's like breaking news Twitch streamer wolves at my door has been busted taking a photo of a photo under the bridge like a troll back to your regularly scheduled programming. It's like, it, it's extremely good eats, as, as Daniel would say. Meanwhile, I'm over here like, 
highlight a message. <laughs> What is that, dude? Bro, what are you? You're one of those weirdo things from New Londo Ruins. That's what you are. What are you... Ew. Gross, man. I don't want to deal with you right now. Excuse me. You're not supposed to be that strong. Highlight this sucker. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I was asking Jay. I was like, how'd you even implement this, man? Like, it seems so crazy that you... Like, the only way I could imagine is you have, like, an app that scans the, the IRC version of Twitch chat for points redemptions, and then you, like, you have a custom hook into your camera so that it, like, makes a still image or something. I don't know, custom hooks into your OBS, I guess. This guy's really strong. The Twitch API has, uh... It, it lets you know when people sub. I don't even... I'm, I'm still just like... I mean, I figured that it had to do something like that. But I'm like, man, I don't even know what, what how you interface with your webcam. Or OBS in order to get it to turn your webcam into a still frame. And then afterwards, just seamlessly return back to like full motion video. It's kind of amazing. He's, he's a genius. No, reading Twitch chat is like, honestly, that's like programming 101. Even I did it when I, when I made Spirebot. Like, it's, it's basically, you're just, I mean, you, you can read events and stuff like that, but you can also just parse the text. Excuse me, tree. Thank you. Mm -hmm. But, the, you know, all the interaction with the... I, it depends, you know, I'm assuming it's not interacting with the hardware. I just don't know what layer of software it's interacting with. Whether it's it's going through OBS, which might be a little bit more accessible, or whether, you know, there's, there's some, some other layer that I, I hadn't considered. Either way, it's kind of incredible. It's way better than, than uh, Highlight Message. Let's put it that way. <laughs> okay, oh, you can't go that way. This, this is a hard cemetery, man. I mean, like, there, there's some spicy enemies in here. Much more difficult than your average skeleton. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Hardest enemy in here is supposed to be Big Skelly. And maybe, like... Are, aren't there birds in here? I can't remember. This guy is a boss. This is not an enemy. Don't. Did you see that roll? Thank God for range. This is actually like fighting Super Ornstein. You just gotta pick your moment. Double tap him. Oh, he's stunned, he's done. You're, you're stunned, you're done. Yeah, I watch Jay like, like semi-frequently. I still do not have enough channel points in my life to even redeem a scan. That's that's the rub there, is that he sets the prices at a, at a fairly high level. Otherwise, I mean... Ooh, that's a great item. It's one of those things where, like, you know, if... Uh, the, the redemptions are so attractive, if they were priced too low, the stream would literally just be scans. Oh, that's right. If you drop give subs, you get extra points. That's that's what I was missing. That's why I have so many points to my own channel. It's because all those gift subs I had to give out during Fiend Folio. What the heck is the Grave Lord Sword Dance? <laughs> I've never. I don't believe I have ever seen that spell. I spend all my points ch scanning the chair when he leaves. Dude, I wish I had that kind of, like, liquidity. This is old binoculars, new, new, hello carving. 
I mean, I gotta be honest, that's like up there as far as the best things you could possibly get in this game. One of a kind item. Usually you gotta wait for the DLC for this stuff, right? Hello. <laughs> it's so good, man. It's so good. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm still saving up. I, originally, I was I was getting excited that I could redeem a scan. I was Within the next six months, I might have the kind of capital that allows me to redeem a scan in Jay's Twitch channel. But now that he added breaking news and it's like two times more expensive, I'm like, man, maybe I should just save up for a breaking news. Still got the skulls, huh? I, I really don't want to die here. Because, like, the run to the graveyard is hell. How do you feel about the fact that Ludwig is making uh, a million dollars doing the worst stream of all time? Uh, I don't think it's the worst stream of all time. I think you, you tried to catch me in a trick question. I, uh, I watch a little bit of Ludwig's content. He's one of the very few... I mean, this is, like, just a very rude thing to say to other people. <laughs> but it's one of the very few other Twitch channels that I, like, I stumbled across just, uh, you know, randomly. And was like, oh, this, this person is actually, in my opinion, they have a commitment to making, uh, like, entertaining content. I hate that, man. Hate, hate this guy. Luckily, he's not coming to life. Um, and I, I've watched, uh, I've watched a few of his streams. I think he, he, he makes some very entertaining stuff, and I, I think that, you know, the, the stream that he's doing is, is in that vein as well. I, I give him nothing but props. There's a warlock. Of course it's a basilisk. Just, just to guarantee we get cursed at some point. But making this bonfire is huge. This is, like, very important. That's the other thing, like, I don't mean this to be too cynical about Twitch, but I was laughing, like, um... Ludwig did a, a, a stream where he basically broke down, like, how he makes new content and stuff like that, and how it gets, uh... His philosophy for, like, making content, and his chat was literally, like, 99% people just like, Oh, just be big, forehead! Just, just be big! Or he'd be like, you know, sometimes you might have to spend like, you know, 20 or 30 bucks to buy the props that you need for a cool video. And they're like, oh, just have money, forehead, just have... And you're like, you know, this is like good advice. If, if you're looking for like an excuse not to do something, you can always find one. Don't get me wrong, but like... Okay, cat, we don't have to be scared of cat. I remember, we had, we had a heck of a time here earlier. Last time we came through, I remember there was a, uh, there was a bl toxic blow dart. I will say we need to we need to save and reload. I think. So spiky. You know what? There was a large armored boar there. You're not wrong. Do it for Tomo. No. Hold on. Dude, did you see perfectly executed three point turn? We gotta help him. We just we we can exert a force. Oh, he's hungry. Whoa! Hey, sorry, sorry. That was probably a little scary there. Yeah, I don't think he's making it, man. Uh, he snuck through the wall. Shouldn't shouldn't have swung. Got very lucky. Shouldn't have swung there. Got very lucky. Ooh, big chungus. Yeah, and I haven't even talked about the fact that I absolutely eviscerated him in Twitch Rivals yet, and it was quite frankly, uh, no, it was. It, I mean, those were some spicy matches. I can't even pretend that that I was super confident. Okay, so far so good.
They were all great matches. I do think it's funny that... Well, like, the easiest match that we had was the one with, with Rubius. Which makes sense. He's, you know, like an 800 ELO player. And I still blew the first one. Just by making an absolutely horrible move, obviously. This It's still funny to me, though, that the second easiest match we had was in the, the Consolation semifinals. Oh, I forgot that you're strong. It's like every other match was like a nightmare. It was it was so tense, it took forever. And then the, the Constellation semifinals, by like move 12, we were just like, oh, I think we're all right. We were, we were just bantering. <laughs> no, 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 humanity, humanity. Dude, I never remember how to do anything on the catacombs. Cage key! That's, uh, Sen's Fortress, I think. Alright, just be smart here. <laughs> Smarter than that. And they're still shaking. Yeah, I've never rescued, like, Big Hat Logan in my entire gaming career, so... I'll need some guidance there, I think. That is the best T-pose in Dark Souls history. My man is full on planking. Hello. You know what you look, not you, not you. I wish you were still asleep, honestly. Um, you know what that mask looks like? You remember episode two of the Goosebumps television series when they, they did the haunted mask? And then the mask affixes to Carly's face and it's like one of the most traumatizing moments for people in my generation. That's what it looks like, man. That would have killed you. That would have killed you. Oh, you're, you're already dead. Never mind. I already killed you. <laughs> Are you afraid of the dark was better? Dude, I didn't know Canada had such, like, a monopoly on... Patches. Uh, on good children's television programming like we made uh excuse me this is from bloodborne you can't trick sorry uh, we're, we're in a quiet place right now that's from bloodborne dude we i'm i believe that canada made are you afraid of the dark because like nev campbell was on it she's canadian and then i also think that the goosebumps show might have been like filmed in canada it, it reeks of, of Canada in every frame, quite frankly. Um, and then the Animorphs show is from Canada, too. Ooh, chain leggings. Those, that breaks. That breaks. How can people tell you're from New York without telling them? It's tough. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta execute an Eldridge spell. Yo, Ox, let me get a bacon, egg, and cheese. Salt and pepper, ketchup, mayo, wanna roll. Yes, sir. You already know the vibe. Can't forget the bevy. You know I gotta cop the airy. Yes, sir. It's so good. Apparently, I saw on Twitter that the guy who made that said he made it as like a self-aware joke. I don't disbelieve him, but I do also need to say that it's the best acting of all time. If indeed that's the case, that it was like self-aware, like a little awkward, then he should actually be in movies. Because like it's such authentic acting. I told you it was Bloodborne, dude. I mean, we kind of need that item, but... We're dripped out. I almost tweeted Supreme today, you know, the, the streetwear brand. And the tweet was just going to say, Ayo, make a vaccine. I was just, I don't know, I just kind of wanted to see how it would land. 
I don't. What, what's the joke? I don't know. The joke is like, wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> Imagine, you know. Is Supreme even cool anymore? I don't even know, man. Trends move fast. That's how you get to the blacksmith? Okay, okay. Oh, uh-oh. Twin Humies? <laughs> oh, no. Surprise, I lived. B plus to A minus tier tweet. Oh, here we go. It's this guy again. He's... I forget he's so mad. Every, he's like, what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> he's so pissed. Just smashes his freaking wall down. Deep fried, deep fried skeleton blacksmith. Please, I need to rest at this bonfire. It's a very important bonfire. Heavy pog energy today. I'm telling you, it's it's the bougie water, man. That guy was right. You can't forget the bevy. It's Ornstein. Hmm. Why, that's an ember unlike any that I have seen. A very curious pattern. <laughs> Shut up, dude. I, I just met you and you're trying to take my, my freaking ember? No. I don't think I've ever heard this line. <laughs> oh, he's pogged. Okay, sure. Weirdo. Um, what do you got for sale? Homeward Bones for a thousand? Not, not that bad. Every, every NPC in this game right now sells the, the Guardian Tail. I'd really like the rest of this bonfire, dude. Maybe... It might be that that is Ornstein? Honestly, this is a pretty gentle bone pile right here. I'm not sweating it. Does he get more deep fried on the Switch port? I'll be honest, I've never I've never played remastered on the Switch. Um What the But I was talking today is so funny. Like I I check all the like the console stores like once a week to try to find stuff to play on on the ps5 i'm always looking for like cool indie stuff and uh on the switch i'm exclusively looking for game show games that and i'm i'm being 100 percent since or or like just just weird stuff because like the switch is that it's like an incredible cultural artifact because it's the most popular console right now um, and it has, like, mass casual appeal. It's not to say it's a bad console, you know, it's got amazing stuff. A lot of it is Nintendo first party stuff, which is fine. Um, but, like, if there was gonna be a Price is Right video game stealth dropped, it would be dropped on the Switch, for sure. That's not coming to PS5. At least not yet. Dude, yeah. I don't think they're going to let me rest here until uh, the blacksmith dies. But I don't really want to kill the blacksmith. <laughs> so... I think I'm just going to hope that Pinwheel is like an easy boss. I thought you were Artorius. I was going to lose my mind, dude. It's alright, you, you expect stuff like this to happen in the randomizer. 
But this would be a very good first try. Anything good on PS5 lately? New Crash. New Crash was fun. I was sponsored to play it, but it was fun nonetheless. All right, that's dude. That's Priscilla. I would. I recognize that robe anywhere. Somebody in chat actually called it. I only saw one message. It said, "I'm calling Priscilla," and it's that's absolutely correct. Sometimes the the actual boss is different than the cutscene model, but uh, not this time. I should really put my bleed ring on. I don't have time, though. I don't have time, man. Ah, he's so good. Screw Once she appears, she's freaking toasted, man. What's happening? This is Priscilla. She's uh, an invisible boss. Let's go! What? That's Pinwheel? That's Pinwheel? What? What's happening? Uh... Watch out for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch out for that. Hey, you. Stinky. Don't... Would, my wax lips are immune to your charms. You can't hurt me. Just hit her one more time. If you just hit her one more time, it's already... There you go. Okay, that's huge. That's huge. Absolutely horrible boss fight, but thankfully we got a soul of a nameless soldier. That's pretty valuable. Odds of us making it to the next uh, bonfire, I would say approximately zero. But let's see, do we, do we have any real humies? We must. Two? <laughs> Do we- hold on. We have the crown of sunlight, don't we? This doesn't- this doesn't do it, does it? I think we have a skull lantern. We might have a skull's lantern. We have so many items. We do have a skull lantern, okay. Pretty sure. Oh my god, we can actually wield this? That's crazy, man. Yeah, like that looks. It's because we're so strong. That looks normal. Wait, what's going on down here, man? I always forget. Some kind of shortcut. It's the way backwards. Get ready for surfing USA. Shortcut ahead. Yo, I didn't know that that was a, a game message. Alone Dunka and Minkus in the dark. So true. Dude, I gotta own up. I was playing Isaac this morning while watching the baby. I was fighting Famine on 1 HP. I was about to die. Famine almost hit me. I went, oh, like a little louder than normal. 
and the baby freaked out. She was like, I think she thought that I was dying or being attacked or something like that. And she, she panicked. I had to, oh no, no, no. I had to stop the episode immediately. And then, you know, sort that. See ya. <laughs> sort that out. <laughs> She, was, she didn't understand that it was all kayfabe. No, I mean, it, it, we just... Uh, you know, I, I hit it with the classic OBS pause button. The episode still exists. Dude, same with my cat. I hear that. Yeah, get him. Get him. I wish not to attack the feline. You're going to cause me some problems, so I see you later. Dude, how do you... Can't you just do like a cool little drop down here? I always forget where the shortcut is here. Because I, I, once we get the Lord Vessel, I, I spend as little time as possible um, for the rest of the game doing anything. You know, I just try to finish it as, as soon as it can be done. There's a broken bridge drop-off. I thought so. This seems like a good way to get completely screwed. But you know what? Here we go. You! That, there's so many freaking dogs in this randomizer, man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bone wheel. So I'll be the first to tell you. I think we got pretty lucky. Um, when it comes to uh, bosses on this randomizer. Like, I think we've had a, a fairly easy time. But the actual enemy rotation is pretty nasty. Nope. Alright. Keep in mind, we haven't done the depths. We haven't done lower on Deadburg. Mostly because I never remember how to get to them. <laughs> uh, and we haven't done... Depths lower on Deadburg. Obviously, New Londo Ruins. Ash Lake. Yeah, but Ash Lake is like... Uh, ooh. I'm boring. I'm Ash Lake, you know? We'll probably go. Painted World? We haven't found the doll yet. So I don't think we can get in the Painted World, even. It do be like that. Yeah, I told you. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, Papa. You know, that, that, holds, that old song and dance. So, I am just going to go fast. Not, not to rush through the randomizer, but just to get to this bonfire, so we hopefully never have to do this part again. No, we didn't find the orange ring, uh, but you don't need the orange ring. Hypothetically. I'm dead, dude. I'm there. I go. There I go. There I go. Oh, I'm alive and lost. In theory, you don't need the orange ring because we've already seen. Um, we, we can get to the bed of chaos without it. I <laughs> don't. Don't ever speak to me ever again. I was about to walk, and then the camera was like. And I was like, yeah, just keep, keep going straight. What the heck is that that's going on out there? I mean, I might have to kill the blacksmith, dude. It's not like I've ever used him for anything anyway. Unless a Lord's Soul happens to be one of the items in that area. The, the Lord's Souls have, have so far come from the Lord's. So I think that we're, 
we're not. I, I, I've mistakenly made things slightly easier on myself from a treasure hunt standpoint. I don't think we're gonna have to go on the the exhaustive treasure search that I uh, that I thought we were gonna. Bro, can you just chill? Why am I always like, I, okay, ne never mind, I got it. <laughs> I was like, I never know where to go. Keep in mind, there's some dogs coming. There is a second bonfire. You're not, you're not joking about that. Not having to see you later would be nice. Quick little sip to get prepared. That was the that was, we fell faster than gravity there. Yikes! Yeah, we did the uh, we did Duke's archives. The boss in the in uh, the Crystal Caverns was a single gargoyle, which is really like that's the lowest possible roll in terms of both difficulty and pog. That's pretty bad. Why not use that bonfire? We, we appear not to be able to use the uh, the bonfire um, for some reason. The, the bonfire never uh, is active. It's been part of the, the narrative of the past half hour or so. The blacksmith is Ornstein. That might be part of the problem. We cleared out some enemies down there, um, and it, we still had to deal with it. Uh, so, yeah, I, I don't fully understand, honestly. But let's see, in, in the randomizer, you expect things to get a little, uh, a little goofy from time to time. It's part of the part of the fun, quite frankly. No, you cannot show your hollow sticker from the merch to skip the vaccine line. If anything, quite frankly, you shouldn't e even be able to get vaccinated until I do. 